Yo, it's your boy, me, two times in the building, Mr. Get Right to Get Left, and welcome back. Well, not even welcome back, bro. Welcome to a new year, bro. It's 2024, bro. What is good with y'all, bro? I hope y'all had a good new year. Y'all ain't seen me since last year, man. But, hey, man, welcome back to another video, bro. I'm glad to be, you know, dropping this video today for y'all. It's January 1st, bro. You feel me? We gonna get lit, man. Um, hope y'all have a good, had a good New Year's, man. Um, but today I just wanna hop on and let y'all know, like, my plans for 2024, bro. Like, um, with YouTube and just with my life and stuff like that. I just wanna let y'all know my plans and my goals and stuff like that. And I wanna be able to look back at this video and be make sure I'm checking off all my goals, man. But, I mean, yeah, so let's just hop right into the video, man. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to get closer with God, bro, because without God, nothing is possible, man. And, you know, he's got me to the point where I'm at in life right now, and I know he only can get me farther. So, you know, that's the number one thing is get closer with God and get my faith right with him because, that's it, without him, nothing is possible, bro. I can do all things through Christ. Um, the second thing is I need a, <sighs> my consistency, bro. Lately, my consistency has been real good, bro, but, like, I really want to be consistent. I want to set a schedule when I post. And I think um, I'm going to do every other day or Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, and maybe every other Sunday or something like that. But, um, you know, I want to get on I want to get structured, man, because structure, you need some type of structure in order to build something, bro. And if you don't have a structure, things are just going to keep falling apart. Like, you know me, bro. I love using analogies. Like, if, if the structure and the foundation isn't, isn't strong, it's going to keep falling apart. That goes for anything, a house, your life, anything, bro. So I, I really want to stay consistent with these videos dropping and just consistent with everything in life, like the gym and, you know, eating correctly and, you know, things, everything. I, I got to stay consistent in anything in my life, man. Um, another thing, man, controlling my lust, bro. And this goes for um, watching porn. Like, one thing, I don't want to watch porn or beat my dick any, like, beat my, you know, beat my meat anymore, man. And, you know, I've been doing good on that, so I don't want to go back to that. And, you know, I don't want to leave all that in the past. I want to leave negative people in the past, too. Last year, everybody, look, man, everybody who's brought me negativity, I'm sorry, man. Y'all got left. Yeah, unless y'all get in that little DeLorean from Back to the Future, y'all can't come back around me, bro. Nothing personal is just, you know, I don't want y'all around me um, because I'm going to new levels tonight, and y'all not on the same level that I'm trying to go. So, yeah, nothing personal is just business, you know. Business is business, you know. Um, yeah. Um... And yeah, just with my control and lust, I don't want to be out here just sleeping with people that I don't see a future with and doing one night stands. It's just, it's not good to do that, man. Soul ties are real and, you know, people people think this hookup culture is cool, but it's really not, bro. That was my phone, bro. Um, another thing is, man, I want to start saying no more. Like, I have a tendency to do people pleasing and... It just subconsciously comes and, you know, trying to please people, you're never going to please yourself. And that's what I realized. And I, either way, I'm just too nice and I try to make everybody happy, but I'm not making myself happy. So I got to start saying no more. You know, even, even like, like if I don't want to do nothing, just say no, bro. Forget what somebody got to think about me, man. I don't care. And, you know, it's, it's, that's. That's the bottom line. Just start saying no if I don't want to do nothing, bro. And it's not going to benefit me. So it's okay if I say no. I don't need somebody's validation. Um, another thing is I want to stop lying. Like, bro, I really lie a lot. And I'm not going to say I lie to y'all. I really don't lie to y'all. And that is not a lie. Y'all already know the authenticity. Like, I, like when I relapse, I'll let y'all know. But, like, say I'm meeting somebody on the street, bro. Like, and we just talking. Like, they saying, like... Oh, did you see the basketball game last night? Or do you watch basketball? I'll be like, oh yeah, I watch this and this and this. No, and I don't really. It's be like small lies like that, just to try and fit in and get validation from people. But you know, I and I subconsciously just do it, and I don't want to do that, man, because that's that's not good. That's not a good habit to have, especially if you're trying to be a successful person. So that's another thing I want to stop doing, man. I just want to be my authentic self. And I've been learning. It's been taking some time, but with this YouTube, I'm learning more about myself. And this journey that I'm going through. Um, fixing my diet, bro. No more fast food, bro. And I'm not going to say no more, but very limited. Like, say I'm on vacation or something. And it's like, 
there's a Zaxby's, bro. We don't got Zaxby's in Baltimore, so I may just have to hit the Zaxby's, but like a consistent thing, I don't want that, bro. Like going to McDonald's and chugging down a root beer and, and a Big Mac with fries, and that shit sound real good right now, but nah, I can't do that, man. Like, it's not good for you. And anytime I eat that, I feel like shit afterwards. Like Taco Bell, bro, it may feel good in a moment, but you feel like shit after it. Like you, I break out, um... You know, I'm just I'm just sluggish and I don't want to do nothing, and it just it makes me relapse. Like fast food makes me relapse. Like uh, it's something that they're putting in it, some addictive chemical that they're putting in it. Um, another thing is I want to start meeting new people, bro. Like I want to start meeting people that are replacing the negative people that I removed last year. Like last year was a whole bunch of removing negative people. This year is replacing it with positive people, and I want to meet. Yeah, I want to meet y'all as well. Like, I want to build a better community. I want to build a stronger community where we can all link up and do things, bro. This the tribe, bro. I got to get closer with the tribe, man. Like, you know, what other YouTuber, like, is doing movie nights and, you know, just, like, doing daily voice calls? It hasn't been daily lately, but, you know, I'm just real, real busy with stuff. But, like, who does voice calls, checking up on people and, you know, a whole bunch of stuff like that. Like, I know the community is going to get real big, but I always want to be one-on-one -on -one with y'all because that's what separates me from the rest of the people bro um so yeah i really want to just meet new people new opportunities and all that man um another thing is i want to travel way more like i want to i really want to see i want i want to see different countries like i do want to travel like the whole united states but i want to travel where i'm seeing different countries and it's like you know i'm I'm putting myself in uncomfortable situations. And that's another thing, putting myself, making myself uncomfortable. Um, you know, putting myself in uncomfortable situations and places, like even traveling by myself, bro, that's when I realized the best things happened to me. Like when I went to Ocean City, it was hard, but I made that I have no friends video and it blew up and, you know, basically started my YouTube. And, you know, I met, I met some, I met some people in the casino. It was hard for me to go in there, but I met them and I had a good time. So, you know, traveling more, getting out your comfort zone, not even just traveling, like, you know, abroad of, like, traveling abroad of going to different countries or states, like, even traveling in my own state, like, going out, taking myself out more, you know, traveling in, in, in ways where I'm seeing more things that I've never really seen before and not waiting for other people to do it with me. If, if they don't want to come, I just do it by myself, man. Um, better health and getting in the gym. I've been in the gym, I've actually been in the gym consistent, like, you know, I've been going at least two to three times a week, but I want to go at least five, four to five times a week where, you know, I have a consistent schedule. Another thing with structure, like, I'm structured and I know I'm going to the gym at this time, this day, and, um, yeah, I start CDL school tomorrow, so, you know, I'm going to be real busy, but I'm still getting these videos out, bro, like, no matter what, I got to get these videos out, um, because I know it's going to pay off in the end, so... Yeah, but that will help with the traveling, anxiety, you know, meeting new people in school. So me starting the school is a good thing, man. Um, everything happens for a reason. But yeah, with the gym, better health. Like, you know, I ain't smoke. I don't smoke no more. I haven't really been drinking like that. Um, you know, I drink, like I said, I drink when I went to a little kickback party in Oklahoma. But that's about it. I don't like drinking, um, smoking, none of that, bro. I don't want no vice that's going to mess with my body, really. And, um, last thing really that I have on the top of my head is, um, less anxiety. Like, I don't really want, you know, I don't want to keep having all this anxiety, social anxiety, or worrying about things that I can't control that are going to happen in the future, bro. Like, it's all for what, bro? Why worry about things you can't control? Only focus on the things you can control. Because at the end of the day, if you can't control something, why are you worrying about it, bro? Anxiety is fear of future pain, bro. Stop having a fear of future pain. And this is not me just telling y'all, this is me telling myself. Meech, stop having future pain, bro. You cannot control the future. You're not God, only God can control the future. And whatever happens, happens for a reason. So remember that. It's January 1st, 2024. When you're looking back at this video, remember that everything happens for a reason. I'm proud of you for coming this far, man. And I just wanna let you know that, you know, it's a lot of things that you know, you're gonna go through. It's a lot of things that you're gonna, you know, a lot of trials and tribulations, but just know in the end, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. After every storm, there's always a shine. 
The sun always comes out. It's a beautiful rainbow after every storm. So just remember that. But um, yeah, man, with anxiety, on the social anxiety, all that, I want that gone, bro. Why care what people think? At the end of the day, if you live in a congruent life to yourself and with God, nothing else matters in this world. When you live in a worldly life, that's when you stress. When you live in the flesh, you stress. But when you live in the spirit, things will things will be a lot better. When you live godly, things will live a lot better. So, with that being said, man, um, I'm getting a little bit emotional right now because, you know, I just got this big emotional wave that came over me. It's a new year, man. I'm getting closer and closer to my goals and stuff like that. And I know one day, like, I'm just going to be like, dang, I really made it. And, hey, man, it takes work and consistency, man, discipline. But, hey, I love y'all, man. Um, stay tuned. This vi this year is going to go crazy for us, bro. We're hitting 100K subscribers. I'm going to say that in every video. 100K subscribers, bro. We're hitting that. You know? We're hitting that. Manifest that, bro. We're hitting that. So with that being said, man, God bless you all, man. I hope y'all have a wonderful year, man. And come on this journey with me. And we can go farther and farther and y'all can become the man that y'all truly are and the woman that you truly are as well if you're a girl that's watching this. Cause I know I got some girl subscribers, man. Um, but back, but with that being said, man, stay safe, stay motivated, stay disciplined, stay consistent, and stay blessed, bro. I will catch y'all in the next video, man. Happy New Year, man. Gang!